hello everybody welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time welcome my name is martina and for my regular viewers welcome back so, so today i'm going to show you how to create your own letterhead at home using microsoft word um, 2016 so let's get straight into it so right now i have a document open a blank document and the first thing I'm going to do, of course, I will assume that you will have your logo <clears throat> already established, but um, you don't really have to have a logo, but, you know, to just specifically to identify your letterhead, it's good to have a logo. So I'm going to work with the idea that you already have a logo. So here we go. So um, the first thing I'm going to do, um, we're going to go into letterhead, um, insert a header. So click on insert, and we're going to look for header. And I'm going to use this blank option here, the first one. There are different options, but I'm using the basic ones, right? Now, we have, this is the header part. This is where we're going to put the information for our, um, for our company, the address, things like that, right? So the first thing I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to insert my logo. <clears throat> so let's go into insert, pictures. And I'm going to use my logo here. Okay, as you can see, the logo is quite large. So, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to adjust the logo by just dragging on the end here and make it small. Let's drag it to the left. I'm oh, sorry, that's your right. Or I can use it from this end here to your left. All right. Let's see. I should do it now as you can see here i'm trying to move it to the left to get it more to the left part of the page here but it's not moving anymore so that's because of how the margins are set on the page so what i'm going to do i'm going to do something a little differently right i'm going to um let's go into insert i'm going to use a text box with the text box i have more control okay i'll show you what i mean so click on text box i'm going to just delete this information in the box I'm going to drag this um, picture and put it inside the box there. Okay. I hope you're, hope you're following me so far. I'll fix everything afterwards. So I'm going to click on the box and just reposition it to as close to the end as I want, I want it to be, like around there. Okay. Let's resize the box a bit. I'll just drag it in. Okay. So now you see the box has like a, a line around it. I don't really want to align with my logo. So I'm going to click on the box, right click, and go into format shape. And I'm just going to select line and no line. Okay. So you're going to have the box. There's a box with no line. And as you can see here, the, the logo is more to the left as I would like it to be and more to the top. Previously, um, it, there was more space to the top and more space to the left. Okay, I like it like that. Um, I prefer it like that, right? Um, like I said before, with the text box, it allowed me to be able to have more flexibility. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing now to adding the name of the company, the address, and the all the information that you would like to put um, for your logo, for your search letterhead. Okay, so again, I'm going to go back into insert, and we're going to use text box again. I'm going to click on this one and I'll just press delete to delete the information in the box. And let's reposition this box around here like that. I'm going to open that a bit. Okay, that doesn't really matter. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put in the name of the company. Let's say whatever your company name is, I'm going to put my name, VI, let's say. I'm just putting something. I'm just making up this, okay? Right? And of course, the name of the company should be bigger. I'm going to change the size of the font. I'm going to go into home. I'm going to choose maybe Arial Black because it stands out. And use a bigger size, maybe 24. Okay? And let's center that in the box. Organization is spelled wrong. So let's just fix that quickly. Okay, lovely. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to spread out this box, the box to 
just for the letter head it's just put it across the, the letter head like that okay now you could left align this by pressing on the left align button or you can write a line or center you could also do the same thing for the logo you could put the logo to your right hand side you could put it in the center wherever you want to put it but generally you find that people use put the logos to the left hand side okay but you can be creative as you want right so now that now that we we have reached so far we want to add more information like um the address mailing address maybe telephone number email address email address things like that okay now we but we don't want that information to be as big as the size that we did for the name of the company so i'm going to press enter and i'm going to change the size of the font i'm going to change the font actually maybe to Arial and to a size like about let's see nine okay i'm going to put the address now my mailing address um, okay and i'm also going to put a telephone number Okay, but now that you're seeing that I have um, a big gap between the name of the company and the um, contact information with the, with the uh, mailing address and telephone number. So to avoid that, let's just highlight the name of the company. I'm going to go to the paragraph. And you see here it's under spacing. After it is saying eight points. I don't really want any um, space between after. I don't really want the space after. So I'm going to just click the arrow down and make a noise at zero, zero, um, zero points. So I'm going to click OK. And there you have it. it the, between the space between the two lines has reduced, which is what I want. OK. So you could step up to here. You could put like an email address in that same line if you want. And or um, you could do more stuff. OK. This is just basic, basic information. Now, um, here, as you can see, again, the box has, uh, you can leave the boxes if you want as a design. But um, if you want to eliminate the box, like how we did before, just right click on the box. And we're going to uh, format shape again. Click on line and click on no line. And we wouldn't have a line around the box. You see how it just clears out, okay? So we have a letter head there so far. Now, just for design information, now you could put, like if you want, let me just show you what I mean. Let's go into view and one page now this is a page what it's looking like we have our header with the name of the company and we have the address telephone number you can have your email address here if you wish in the same line but just for information's sake now you can put some basic information in your footer okay so let's say you want to put an email address in the footer let me show you how to do that in case you would like to do that all right so we come down here as you can see we in footer and the cursor is down here so we just put probably put email let me just make it bigger so you can see from 100%. Email, um, let's see. Okay. And you could, whatever else you want to put after that, some people might want to put um, a next line maybe and put something like that, you know. Let's center that just to make it a little more sorry about that make it a little more presentable center that okay so there you go so let me go back into view and one page so you can see what it looks like so we have our footer we sorry our letterhead we have name of the company the logo um, mailing address with the um, telephone number on the header part of the um, the header sorry letterhead right and for other information if this is optional right we have it in the footer we have the email address and just like a little note um or maybe a tagline whatever you want to put in the footer part of your letterhead and that's basically it now as you notice here now i just typed in the information here for the email address and the um the tagline i didn't use any text box so at least you can see a little difference there right now where i use the text box here is where i could have more control in positioning the information that i where, put it where i wanted to put it okay well, one more thing before i 
before I go, um, now that you have done your, your letterhead and you're satisfied with it, um, I suggest that when you save your file, save your file, save it like as a, um, a template, let, letterhead template, and keep it like as a template. So when you have to do, do a letter, you just pull up your temp, letterhead template and type in document, print, but keep the template blank without anything on it. So when you have to do a document again, just pull up a template and type, type your document. Okay? All right, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, click on the thumbs up button, leave a comment for me, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to click on the bell next to the subscribe button. In doing so, you get a notification each time I upload a new video. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.